Oh, all right, what's up? Okay. Here we are. Little resort, uh, little resort here in town. Look at all the leaves falling already. See already, we're uh, a week into October. <clears throat> what are we doing here today? We're gonna clean up some of these black stains on this roof. We're gonna be removing as much moss from some of these cabins. A couple of these cabins need a little bit of a light siding wash. You can see that all growing down through there. We've had a lot of rain this year. The moss is just loving life until I got here. Ba 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 ba, I'm washing it. And then we're gonna do this Victorian roof on this side. This whole uh, Victorian's gonna get a house wash. Okay, okay. It's pretty dirty. Gonna take some nice before and after pictures. I think that roof is gonna look magnificent. When we leave here, oh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful day. We're going to have some pretty hot chem coming through for these roofs. And we're going to lighten up these boards a little bit. See if we can get a little darkness out of this concrete. Okay, all this trim, this whole house. And then on the back side of this property is another one. Let's go over there. And then on this side, again, a little roof wash, a little Adirondack view here. Just beautiful. So the sun is obviously uh, rising behind me, it's making these trees nice and gold. You gotta go. We're not we're not doing these little. I mean, I wasn't asked to do them. I might spray a little something up there. We'll see. <clears throat> but the real key over here is this one. You can see this one. Uh, it's got some nice bushy moss. We're gonna get that taken out. There's a couple black stains up here. Um, I was just giving some clear direction on what we're doing, so we're probably just gonna do <clears throat> probably just gonna do that. And then we'll be out of here. Then we'll be out of here. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're back over here. Let's take a look at this property in more detail. First, what we're going to do is at least get our 20 foot up on this lower uh, roof here so we can stand up there get a nice coating up there uh, that looks pretty steep uh, I'm not gonna try to get up there there's some junk growing out of the uh, out of the chimney not too interested in that if I could get to it I would but not an issue right not gonna not gonna get up there and get ourselves in trouble for a couple leaves coming out of there but we want to do all these these uh, all this vinyl siding after we do the roof wash we're going to get over in here. There's no gutters, so we're going to have to pre-wet everything. We had a lot of fog and moisture this morning, so that's going to be really nice. Uh, great time of year to be going into doing some roof washes because all this stuff is already dying. It doesn't look healthy. We're cold. We're about 40s at night, so it's a great time of year to be dropping some of this uh, SH down here. But either way, we are still going to do our due diligence, and we are going to dilute when walking around. Want to find out where our water source is here's one it looks like yep there's one back in there so we'll run our hose to our truck and we'll make sure that that uh, stays topped off while we work all the windows appear to be closed come around to this side and that roof is fine right roof is nice and clean gets a lot of sun the side of the house isn't even that bad. The siding's gonna get a wash regardless. <clears throat> Clean some of that trim up. But we don't have to do anything on this side with the roof. All the windows appear to be closed. And our 360 appears to be complete. There's no obstacles in the way. 
there's no tenants here today no customers they will be coming in tomorrow i was originally going to be here two days but uh i think we can get a lot of this done today we're gonna get it all done today finished up our day yesterday with a, with a house wash so we got some light house wash in there we'll have to flush that out we'll be listening to the sound of the bubble we'll know when our hot cam comes through okay any of you guys been keeping up my videos you know that i've done a lot of roof washes lately and i forgot my soap that is not the case today ladies and gentlemen we've got a bunch of soap in here we got to flow some water into it and we got this filled up i've had plenty of soap lying around the house i just every time i leave the house i just forget to add it to the truck no big deal you can do roof washes without soap it's just gonna be running off a little bit more we're gonna keep it nice and sticky today we got a really uh steep peat, uh pitch here so uh probably gonna be probably gonna be running that soap i, I don't have it fully wide open yet we might be doing so This is just a water splitter from Ace Hardware, some hardware store. This knob and this knob, they're open. They're gonna flow water into our tanks here. Keep our water tanks topped off. This is going to flow water into our soap tank. We need to fill that up, mix the soap, pre-dilute it before it gets mixed in with our system here. This knob right here goes to the pressure washer. We're not going to be uh, running that right now. All right, let's go get this. Let's see if we can reach with these. These stretch lines are great for just running water to the truck. Let's see if we can get it there. Okay. Water's flowing into the truck. It's flowing into this tank. hard to tell if there's water coming out of that flexible line this is going to start filling up i have to keep an eye on this the two water tanks i installed hudson float valves last season so when the water level gets high when the water level gets to where it needs to be and when the tanks are full it shuts off this one will just overflow so we're just going to wait until this is full while this is going we're going to stretch some line Okay, we're up on this lower roof here. Green siding, dirty trim, and then this actually looks pretty good. It's gonna get sprayed, and this area is all black. <clears throat> As I said earlier, we finished up with a house wash yesterday. So we're gonna run that through the line. We're gonna be listening for the, uh, the bubbles. We're going to be able to tell when we have transitioned from the house wash cam to the soap and the roof wash. While we do that, let's just spray some of the siding here a little bit. No SH goes wasted, huh? Get it all up in there. What an absolutely gorgeous morning we have here. Something happened to my GoPro screen recently. <clears throat> I can't see what I'm looking at. The screen's all black. So we're gonna have to get a new one. And if you guys uh, have any experience with the nines, this is a Hero 7. I think it takes fantastic footage. Even though I am uh, consistently boogering up this lens. I got a brand new lens on here. It's already destroyed. But, uh, Thinking about the nine, then you can see from the front and the back. Uh, 
<clears throat> All right, we'll stop right there because we just heard the first bubble. Need a little bit more. Should start seeing some soap. Look at that, a lot of that's just dirt. Similar to a house wash or a roof wash I did the other day. There's our soap. So we're ready to wash some roofs. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our respirator on. Blowing my hot sauce. We're gonna switch over to our pencil spray here. Just need a light coat over here. There's not even really any discoloration, but. Where do you want to start? Okay. Look at that. Look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles. I don't think.
Okay. Let's go down for a minute. <clears throat> you can see already it wanting to lighten up. Now a rookie mistake would be to spray that and immediately move on. We're not in a rush. We're gonna do a good job. This is gonna probably take a layer of this off. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna do this section, probably get a little water, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna see if they're still streaking up there. If so, I'm gonna spray it again because I'm not going to rush off this roof and uh, then have to come back Get all my hoses out, run the soap, run the ladder to get a couple spots that I missed. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot more efficient to just stick around and do it all now. So just because you spray a lot of hot up there doesn't mean it's going to come right off. Some of this stuff, I mean, this is the first time I'm washing this roof. It could be the first time this roof has ever been washed. Um, it might take more than one spray. You can see it's getting very light through here, but almost like directly up from the ladder, there's a nice black patch. That was pretty thick. Might have to hit a couple other spots by the peak. All right, we're cooking with gas now. It was just thick, you know. You gotta, uh, you gotta really put it up there, and uh, make sure you get it really coated. You don't want to just throw sh up there and peel out. I get comments on the channel all the time that you had to go back and respray. It's because you were probably in a rush. You need to just slow down and make sure you get everything coated. So we have come through. We got this area coated. We went through here, and this lower level is done. Let's see if we can stand out over this way see if you can get a little little view looks much better looks much much better okay see all this discoloration that is not algae that is not mold the SH will not get rid of that. It's dirt. I usually don't have to do this. This is actually the second time in a week that I've come across actual dirt on the shingle. So I'm going to rip through here and clean these up a little bit. All right, well, that was really annoying, uh, but it looks a lot better. It's just dirt, so it's really uncommon. I have done my fair share of roof washes. That is the second time that I've had to do that, and luckily it was in the last week or so, so it's not like I'm doing that all the time. Okay, moving along. We're done up there. I didn't want to be recording. And then also walking around the roof, you can see that that dingy kind of uh, fake cedar shake is a little whiter now. All the siding is nice and clean. That was pretty dark up there. But uh, look at that. We went all the way over to this edge. So now we're on the ground for a second. We're going to take a little break. I'm gonna go over here. I want to check on this other side of the roof. And we're gonna keep going here with the house wash. We still got a lot of house washing to do here before we can move on to our cabins. This is uh, not anything complicated. It's just an old house, a lot of shape to it, a lot of angle.
all right this roof over here looks incredible now look at that way 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 different i'll be showing some before and after pictures on this lower roof um i'm gonna get up there again with the 20 and you can just see all that dirt that i blew away over there with the water not thrilled about having to do that again but it's made a big difference and then up in here how do these roofs look they look good to me so we are done with the roof uh washing as far as sh goes we're gonna get up in there and spray a little water and then uh we're gonna start cooking with this house wash Okay, this part of the project is done, and it looks good. I uh, had to just start grinding here, put the camera on charge. Look at that, all that fog that was here this morning, it's cleaning up. Mountains are poking out. It's a beautiful day here. Beautiful day here in Lake George, New York. Nice and clean. Roofs are looking good. Okay. All under the porch. This place was a nightmare. Holy frig. Look how intricate. Like all of this is all the shape, the jut outs, the windows, all the trim, everything. These older houses, and then like you go to a lot of like colonials and raised ranches and stuff, and it's just bing, bang, boom, rectangles. This is uh, this one will 
make you work. Gallop under here under the porch. Looks good. I'm going to I'm gonna crush this real quick. Probably not gonna record it. Let's see what we gotta do here. Nothing crazy. You're not gonna miss out on much. I'm going to do the uh the green back here. We're gonna spray this roof, get some of that coloration off. This is gonna be quick. In through here, gonna blast some of this wood. Front roofs are okay. This is gonna be real quick. Nothing, nothing really to see here. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna wrap up. These long guys are here. I am uh, keeping them from doing their job. I'm gonna share the property. We're gonna go and, uh, cause we're done here. We're done here. I wanna get this done so I can be done with this section of the yard. They wanna mow this. Um, we're gonna rip through this. We're gonna pack up the truck. I could use uh, a Gatorade, maybe a protein bar. Day is young, and I still got some uh, some go left in me, so we're gonna come back. We're gonna crush out one, two, uh, I forget, maybe three, definitely four. We got one or two over there. Ooh. Man, I'm happy with this. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> I'm not, this, is, uh, this is a project here, man. All right, we're ripping right through here now. Cleaning these steps up a little bit. Brushed off the exit, uh, access, all that's turned nice white and fluffy up there. This wood's cleaning up. All the cabins are getting a wash here. Wood's cleaning up. Cotton ball white. These are easy. The Victorian was slow. That wood's cleaning up real good. We're about to be on this one right here, okay? Okay, we're running out of daylight, but we still got some work cut out for us. Wash the back of this roof. This building's done. Victorian's done. One, two, three, four, and five are done. We're not doing this one. Let's take a look over here. Cleaned up this concrete a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Wood looking a little lighter. Moss is dead. Cabins are clean. All that siding 
Bing bang boom came right through here. Moss, dead. Okay, doing some maintenance washes here on the roof, getting the excess moss off, killing the rest. All right, we still gotta go to the other side over here. Okay, this one, it's probably gonna be the easiest. This one, it's probably gonna be the easiest moss removal of the day. It's nice and bushy, it comes off. Uh, might hit a couple of these spots. I don't think we were doing anything back in there. Then you're just gonna touch up a couple of these black spots here. And then uh, this side's gonna be a lot easier. I don't, we're not even doing the cabins over here. Just a couple of these roofs and that one. That one's pretty, that one's pretty dark. Uh, oh man, I'm sweating. I don't think we're doing anything under here. I kind of forget. <laughs> Definitely doing this roof. Not doing that. Beautiful. It's just beautiful lived here for almost a decade i grew up about an hour south of here but i've been here for a while in lake george and uh it just you don't get used to the beauty you really don't it's like every every time i see the lake every time i see fall up here every time i see just the never-ending mountains yeah, I don't think we're doing anything back in here. I don't even think we're doing most of this stuff. So we're going to clean up this moss over here. I think we got a little less than I thought. All right. Let's do this. Pretty nasty looking, huh?
What a day, what a day. Finished out washing this roof. A couple little touch up spots over here. They're looking good, nice and clean. This is wet. We'll check on this again tomorrow. We're done for today. Uh. Woo! What a day, what a day. All right. Okay, figured I'd drive by on the way to the job this morning. This is where we were yesterday. Nice and clean. This roof was pretty dark. Looking good.